Hey guys, so we're here, back in with another action figure review of an oldie, but a goodie. I figured since I reviewed that old as hell Modoc a few weeks ago, we take a look at the Marvel Legends Controller Build-A-Figure Wave 4. Harold Thor, so he is of course a Herald of Galactus. This of course is brought to us by the fine folks over at Hospro, and not gonna lie, from whatever year this guy came out, was it 2022? I think it was 2022. Definitely one of the better Legends figures. Faux Showa. Is he going to beat the Retro Card Ghost Rider for me? Probably not. Uh, that said, he is definitely one of, I would have to say, top 10 or at least 5 uh, Legends for that year. I remember wanting this figure when it uh, came out. I just never got around to picking it up, but this past Christmas, the old man hooked it up, so here we are. I want to get a review of him out before he gets too old. Like friggin' Modoc. And he doesn't even have a clearance story like Modoc, although, Ollie's did have this whole controller wave for half price at one point, so, um, kind of a kick in the nuts to anyone who paid full rep for him, right? That said, I'm gonna shut up and we're gonna cut right to the chase and get into the meat and taters of this review starting off with Thor's accessories comes with a pair of fist hands which is always nice comes with his mighty hammer mule it doesn't have the little wrap on the bottom this time so that's interesting I wonder why that is but there you go you get an effect for the hammer I think it's for the hammer. I guess you could put it on his arm. And then you get two, count them, two little birdies. They're ravens, of course. They have names, and they're connected to Odin, but I honestly can't remember their names. I, I believe they're the Fates in uh, Norse mythology, but um, everybody's heard about the bird. Bird, 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 bird. Um, I don't know where that came from. That was the trash man. Uh, either way, he comes with those. And, of course, he has a bath part of the controller, which, uh, you know, if I complete it, I complete it. If I don't, I don't. I'm not going to lose sleep over that one. Lately, the Marvel Legends line's been hit or miss for me. You'll notice that over the next couple of days here. We got some uh, one-off reviews for Legends. Like, this is the only figure from the controller wave I had. I have one from the Puff Adder Wave and one from the Mindless One Wave, although I do want that Mindless One bath. Um, I very much want that, because he's a Dormammu, Dormammu character, so uh, definitely need to complete at least one. I'd like to have two of them, though. Really would, but taking a closer look at the God of Thunder, do 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 and rock and roll. Do you know Thor's kiss fan? I did. I don't know if that matters, but I think it does. Uh, really cool figure. He is badass looking. And I believe he's designed by the same artist who created uh, the King in Black Null and um, Cosmic Ghost Rider. I think the Beta Ray Bill I reviewed from Diamond Select would go good with this guy. I know he's a little big, but I think they're the same artist. And then I think the Namor in the um, Void Wave is uh, the same artist as well. I could be wrong. That might be a 90s Namor, which I do want to pick that up. But uh, I do have Crystar on the way from that wave, so maybe I'll review him. I don't know. Time will tell. But either way, uh, this is Thor, the God of Thunder. His articulation is pretty limited in the head there because he's got his long flowing legless locks. Uh, he does have a hinge in there, but again, very locked down. Uh, shoulders can go out pretty far. As far as that shoulder pad will allow anyways. And the shoulder pads are on uh, the kind of disc swivel on the inside of the arm socket there. They're not glued onto the bicep. So you can rotate them around a little bit and adjust them if you want. So that's cool. I do like that. He's got a bicep swivel. No double elbow, but he does have a single. That gets a little bit more than 90, so that's fair. Uh, it does rotate there as well. Yes, it does. Um, hands. He's got uh, rotation here with a hinge. 
fist hands have the same articulation as that one. This hand, on the other hand, no pun intended, has the up and down hinge for holding weapons. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Said the torso appears to have a diaphragm. Yep. Crunches that far forward. His cape is pretty hard plastic here, but you can crunch him back a little bit. He does rotate. And he does tilt side to side. So you get a little bit there. He's got a little loop on his belt for his hammer, I assume. And then his hips can kick forward pretty far. Back. He's got a thigh cut, double knee, that works pretty well. Then he's got a hinge in the foot with a rocker. So that's your lot. That is this figure in a nutshell. Really clean paint on this guy. A lot of nice sculpt. I love the spikes. The spikes are a nice touch. He's got them on his knee pads there. He's got them on his gauntlets. Uh, it would have been cool if he had him on his pauldrons, but then you would get no range out of that. But I guess he wasn't designed with that, so I'll give that a pass. So, really cool figure, man. I dig this Thor. I think it's probably, other than, you know, the really classic-looking Alex Ross, you know, Jack Kirby-style Thor, it's probably the best Thor we've gotten in Legends, period. And it's just a really cool-looking Thor, man. I dig it. So... With that being said, it's time now that we move right along and take a look at some size comparisons. I got a bit of a surprise for you with that one, because I was able to dig out a couple oldie but goodie figures for that. No being one of them, actually. First up, here is the God of Thunder and Rock and Roll. Sorry, I'll cut that out. Alongside a couple other characters that I'm pretty sure this uh, particular artist also helped co-create create and or design uh, we have cosmic ghost rider aka frank castle the punisher one of the better marvel legends figures from the past few years the very least and we also have no the king in black because he's a rolling stones fan more so than a kiss fan that said a side note about null here um mine's knees have stiffened up significantly since I got him. Now, granted, I don't pose this figure every day, but uh, I remember getting him. His knees were not the tightest thing ever, so uh, very interesting there. But uh, this Thor, I do believe, does battle against this Null here, so it makes perfect sense to have them together. I'm not sure if he does battle against the Gore the God Butcher I reviewed, though, uh, which is a very cool looking figure in its own right, but uh, again, my Marvel Legends collection being what it is, I should be thankful I was able to get these two out because uh, some of my figures are freaking buried in boxes and totes. That said, it wouldn't be one of my reviews without bringing in these guys. Mythic Legion, Spread the Mandibulous, and the infamous Ink 11 Spawn, who I expect to be neck and neck with this Thor. He is a little taller than Thor, are you kidding me? Really? Oh well. It is Spawn. It wouldn't be... Uh, it's funny if he didn't tower over everyone, would it? So, with that being said, it's time now that we wrap things up. Some final thoughts. Overall, and aside from not coming with an extra open hand, grip hand, maybe an alt head, and the fact that these ravens are a little bit of a pain in the nuts to get to balance on them. Not gonna lie, took me a minute to get this pose down. This Thor pretty much comes with everything you would want with a Thor figure. I mean, really. Shy of not being a classic, traditional-looking Thor, this has to be, again, one of the best Thor figures we've gotten in the life of the Marvel Legends line, Hasbro, Toy Biz, or otherwise. So, yeah, man, I'd highly recommend this, especially if you can get it on that good old clearance price. So, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Until next time... Catch you guys later.